are you today? Welcome on board to Church of the International. Now, what do we represent? We represent helping you find yourself. That's what we represent. We're helping you to rediscover who you are and how you can use yourself for better, stronger things. So, welcome on board. Helping you discover yourself is the main purpose of what we stand here for Joyfido International. So in this video, I'm going to be chatting with you about emotions that destroy our lives. And this is so important because who we are generally depends on emotions. The emotions that we display at every point in time. And in my knowledge or in my life, in my experiences, I have understood what emotions can do to us. That's why I want to share with you. Why do I want to share this with you? Because I have children and they're just growing up. And I know the battle I have to go through to constantly placate or work with their emotions to keep them on track. And I know I work with students and I know I work with people all over the world. And emotions could be one little thing that we all take for granted, but it's one big thing that could actually hold you down, keep you stuck in place, or actually could help you grow. And we actually wanna be in the position where your emotions is working for you, not working against you. So what's the title of today's discussion or topic or what we're gonna chat about? Detox your mind. Detox your mind for a healthier, happier, longer life. And now we talk about forgiveness, we talk about all kinds of things which we've done in this channel. But today we are really going to be emphasizing on detoxing your mind. So recently I watched a clip from Will Smith where he was talking about what creates happiness um that's something i'll talk about another day and then i watched clips from uh, td jakes i watched from um what's this other man that i love so much uh there's, there's this program called ted talks if you listen to ted talks they have so many topics that they talk about and most of them are out there to enhance you. I would probably say all of them are out there to enhance you, but then it would depend on the topic that's been discussed. So what you then have to do is decide if you want to watch this or listen to this one, or you don't want to listen to that one. So pick and choose which one works for you. Um, so I talked about TD Jakes. Again, he has so many things he talked about, but naturally i love his discussions because they are mostly on the religious side and then there's les brown les brown as well he talks about a lot of things that are really really motivational so i remember years ago when i decided i want to keep helping people to think about themselves and the things they're going through and most of the time i generally used to think that there are so many people in this field already. Why do I want to go in there? But that's again what most people go through in life because whenever you want to go into a particular area, you normally say to yourself, but there are so many people doing that. What, what, what else could I possibly be adding to that field? My daughter says that to me because in some skills that she enjoys, and I'm trying so hard to encourage her. But mom, so many people do it already. And in my unique way, I'll say, but you're bringing something new to that industry or to that field or to that skill. So there's something unique about how you are going to present it. And so, again, I have to help myself sometimes. So when I decided, why would I want to do this? Because there's so many people in it. Then I reminded myself, I am bringing something different, something different in the sense of my personal experience. And this connected with me recently, I shared, which I enjoy doing. So if you are on Facebook, please follow me because I share a lot of motivational talks. So I shared something again in my family and, you know, 
on the bigger scale of family as well relatives i always create like whatsapp if you know about whatsapp it is really good to communicate with your close ones i mean recently i read that the royal family communicates by whatsapp and that was like wow that's really good because i've been doing that for some time so my own small family i communicate again because we're not all together at all, at all times so i put i put um a, a really beautiful article in there was a little clip video that was really motivational and my daughter who's in uni watched it and she quickly wrote back and said thank you so much mom for sharing this and i thought oh wow how, how did that happen and she said when i listened to it it really clicked something in my life because i was really at this point where i was thinking about so many other things and i was at the point i'm thinking oh my gosh do i really want to carry on with this school and all of that and when i watched that it changed everything so whenever i come here to chat with you about something my belief is i'm going to touch somebody's life i'm going to bring something new into your thinking i'm going to help you shift something that was just sitting down there you were thinking about it and now somebody said it same thing when i listen to the will smith talk it, it just touched something in my core so it's it's good to talk there's a um a company in the uk called bt and i remember that was their tagline it's good to talk it's good to share things that are absolutely useful and necessary to people so anytime i come here to share things with you it's aimed at helping you grow helping to develop you emotionally i mean i know i talk about this all the time there's a lot of mental issues out there a lot and we need to be able to break between the healthy ones and the unhealthy ones because i can see here and tell you about these things i have experienced all types of things i have been through all types of things and sometimes these things could be so overwhelming and they hold you down they hold you down so much and within your spirit you know you shouldn't be here you shouldn't be held down this way but you can't help it because something stronger is holding you down so i experience it i'm not different from anybody out there but times like this then i hop into my books and you know read and i watch videos and i listen to people and listen to people and listen to people sometimes i listen to myself again like these videos we video them and so they're there and so i go back and listen to myself and i think it was les brian that said the best way you can help yourself is to listen to something motivational every day before you get out and go anywhere i mean this is aside from reading your bible i read my bible every day and when i don't i feel really bad then when i come back make sure i read but that doesn't stop me from praying because we need a spiritual strength in us so listen to something motivational every day and it will help to keep you strong and i know over time i've got really amazing responses from you guys watching where people have said to me you really helped me to refocus my life to change the way i was seeing things to think again about issues and so that's why i'm here so we are looking at detoxifying your life for a healthier detoxifying your mind for a healthier life and why did i use the word toxin or toxic now you 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 probably have heard about toxin when we talk about food which is there are some certain foods that are so unhealthy for the body and when you put them in what they actually do is actually bring toxin is the same thing as saying poison so when you put this kind of foods into your body it poisons your body and then what you then get is different reactions so people react to different things and sometimes they call it allergies you know I've, I've had someone that reacts to pineapple the little pits in it makes her react and then she gets her throat closing in people react to nuts people react to seeds people react to um different types of meat 
or vegetable or you know it's just nature we're not all the same so we react to things but this type of toxin that's in the mind is a different type of toxin you're going to be shocked to hear how toxin works let me explain um our bodies are cells and I tend to go into this a lot because I love nutrition a lot and I've read so much about nutrition I'm actually supposed to be doing a course on nutrition but of course I realized that I could take on so much at a short period of time and then my hands get so full so right now my hands are so full that my nutrition course is just waiting in the balance but I will come back to it so I love nutrition so much and that's how I know that our bodies are made up of cells from my knowledge of nutrition and every part of us is made of that minute cell now what does the cell do it is constantly repairing growing um, it needs to be maintained um, it is dying as well uh, a good example again is when we talk about hair because again you know I'm into hair which is why I teach hair so when we talk about hair we get this we call it the life cycle of hair and so what happens is some hairs are continuously growing some are dying off which is why when you comb your hair some hair comes out and stays in the comb and some are just sitting down there doing nothing so the cells of the body are like that so some are dying off new ones are coming now it's so important that we eat healthy because it helps our cells to regrow but the weirdest thing about our cells now is emotions so do you see how i've gone around and come back to the same topic emotions affect our cells so the things that happen around us contribute to what we either help ourselves grow make them die quicker help to maintain them whatever it is the emotions we experience has a major effect on what our outer body looks like so anytime i come here to share things with you it's aimed at helping you grow helping to develop you emotionally i mean i know i talk about this all the time there's a lot of mental issues out there a lot and we need to be able to break between the healthy ones and the unhealthy ones because I can see here and tell you about these things. I have experienced all types of things. I have been through all types of things. And sometimes these things could be so overwhelming and they hold you down. They hold you down so much. And within your spirit, you know, you shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be held down this way, but you can't help it because something stronger is holding you down. So, I experience it I'm not different from anybody out there but times like this then I hop into my books and you know read and I watch videos and I listen to people I listen to people and listen to people sometimes I listen to myself again like these videos we video them and so they're there and so I go back and listen to myself and I think it was Les Brown that said the best way you can help yourself is to listen to something motivational every day before you get out and go anywhere I mean this is aside from reading your Bible I read my Bible every day and when I don't I feel really bad then when I come back make sure I read but that doesn't stop me from praying because we need a spiritual strength in us so listen to something motivational every day and it will help to keep you strong and I know over time I've got really amazing responses from you guys watching where people have said to me you really helped me to refocus my life to change the way I was seeing things to think again about issues and so that's why I'm here so we are looking at detoxifying your life for a healthier detoxifying your mind for a healthier life 
and why did i use the word toxin or toxic now you 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 probably have heard about toxin when we talk about food which is there are some certain foods that are so unhealthy for the body and when you put them in what they actually do is actually bring toxin is the same thing as saying poison so when you put this kind of foods into your body it poisons your body and then what you then get is different reactions so people react to different things and sometimes they call it allergies you know I've, I've had someone that reacts to pineapple the little pits in it makes her react and then she gets her throat closing in people react to nuts people react to seeds people react to um different types of meat or vegetable or you know it's just nature we're not all the same so we react to things but this type of toxin that's in the mind is a different type of toxin you're going to be shocked to hear how toxin works let me explain um our bodies are cells and i tend to go into this a lot because i love nutrition a lot and i've read so much about nutrition i'm actually supposed to be doing a course on nutrition but of course I realized that I could take on so much at a short period of time and then my hands get so full so right now my hands are so full that my nutrition course is just waiting in the balance but I will come back to it so I love nutrition so much and that's how I know that our bodies are made up of cells from my knowledge of nutrition and every part of us is made of that minute cell now what does the cell do it is constantly repairing growing um, it needs to be maintained um, it is dying as well uh, a good example again is when we talk about hair because again you know i'm into hair which is why i teach hair so when we talk about hair we get this we call it the life cycle of hair and so what happens is some hairs are continuously growing some are dying off which is why when you comb your hair some hair comes out and stays in the comb and some are just sitting down there doing nothing so the cells of the body are like that so some are dying off new ones are coming now it's so important that we eat healthy because it helps our cells to regrow but the weirdest thing about our cells now is emotions so do you see how i've gone around and come back to the same topic emotions affect our cells so the things that happen around us contribute to what we either help our cells grow make them die quicker help to maintain them whatever it is the emotions we experience has a major effect on what our outer body looks like so the emotion school help give you amazing glowing skin so you hear people go oh your skin is glowing or you suddenly see your skin wrinkling and suddenly people will go but you look a lot older than your age now all of these are coming from emotions what are emotions is the thoughts that we hold in our mind and i remember when i read this book the power of now and uh, Eckhart Tolle one of the biggest thing i picked from that book was was about our ego and so you you hear yourself sometimes talk to yourself and i know i've, I've explained that most times we hear so many voices in our head and so you hear the one that tells you the negative and the one that tells you the positive positive. and so for him in particular he had the experience where um he told himself i could no longer live with myself and then he realized who am i talking to i myself these are two different people then he understood that there was that other part of him that actually sits out there and judges so we do have this ego 
that sits out there and tells us things all the time so we're constantly in communication and so now you then have to constantly deal with people around you so so you have family you have friends you have school you have um, church and so you're constantly that, that's what makes life we live in a community so all these different facets of who we are comes from this communicate or, or connection with these various people and so these people may contribute positively to what you're thinking or they may contribute negatively to what you're thinking which then becomes these emotions that we're talking about and so you find that sometimes when you're with people you feel really excited and elated and and you feel good about that place it's just like when you go to school as well or you go to church or you go to work and I've seen so many people who go to work and all they are struggling with is how much they hate their job because the emotions that are happening there the feelings that are going on the communication the connection is not is not working and so you find yourself in this supposed place that you're supposed to go earn money and feel good about yourself you feel uncomfortable in that environment and so your emotions are connecting and is not working for you so times like this what happens that is toxin that environment that you're not comfortable with is toxic so just like the same way you react to food that doesn't that doesn't work for you you are reacting to this work environment because it is unhealthy and it is toxic and so what is doing to you it's affecting your thinking your thoughts and this is now causing your outer body to struggle because the cells are fighting with these thoughts that are going on in your head so you now watch yourself you're either drying out or sometimes you start picking up illnesses so you see people become so ill i mean we hear of stress all the time and yes there are no physical outlook for stress but when your mind is not at peace that is stress and this stress leads to a lot of things stress leads to high blood pressure leads to um, uh, uh, all types of sickness cancer stress leads to everything because what happens is the mutation of your cells so these cells that I said is is a part of everything that we are what happens is the messages that your that your emotions are throwing into your body is struggling to cope and so the cells now start to die out really quick and this is one of the easiest way to grow older than your age when you're stressed out stress is toxic and so all these people you're dealing with this environment say your best friends or your friends or your we talked about um, your school all these toxins now lead to this stress which then becomes what you're reacting to and that's what leads to you either drying out and getting older quicker than your age or you become extremely ill so no one can tell you when you are happy that that is something that is just within you that power is inside you and i read somewhere where someone said if you cannot deal with the war that is going on inside you how can you deal with the war that's going on outside you so outside you is this external factors friends family work friend, um, church and school and all of those are external but the internal one is this emotions and the war and the voices that are coming and the battle that's going in how can you be able to handle the outside world when you cannot handle it, the inside world so this is why detoxifying is so important 
because those voices and those things going on inside which are the toxins that are eating you up you need to settle that problem you need to settle it and that's what this video is about how do we settle what's going on inside and so what's going on inside comes from all these other issues that you're dealing with and I've talked about the Facebook one of the things I wrote today was if you find yourself in a situation in an environment with people anyone that you find that is not helping you to grow this is the time to cut them out of your life that's a big message today because interestingly enough this is where this book comes in very good book i'm still reading it says the science of getting rich and what was interesting i mean i haven't finished reading but something that really jumped out in my face was the fact that life is for growth life is for living yeah i'm sure you heard that before life is for living now question is if there's anything you are dealing with in life that's not really helping your growth what do you think that thing is that actually out there for you is it to help you grow because if it's not encouraging your growth which is what life represents that's what nature means when it says life and he gave an analogy he said if you take a seed i can relate to that because i, I enjoy farming i mean growing up my dad gave all of us a little piece of land and said you go and go and plant some pepper go and plant some vegetable and so i enjoyed farming and i took agri science in school as well which is why i'm still going the route of nutrition so he said if you take a seed and you plant it in the soil what are you expecting from that seed so that's a big message you want that seed to grow and when that seed grows it's going to come out with lots of fruits and so much fruits all over the place that's nature that's the work of nature and so all of us being here on this earth our creator who then planted us we are like seed and he dropped us here through our mother and our parents who came together and planted a seed remember seed and so we've now grown god's intention is for us to grow go ye and multiply that's what the bible said genesis go ye and multiply and then again lots of people misunderstand that to mean just go and have children no go and create a better world go and contribute to the world go and create more things because god had finished creation after six days he rested so now he's passed it on to us who were made in his image in his likeness so if god could create things and we are in his likeness invariably we can create and so the thoughts that god gives us to go and put things down put ideas into action that creates new things is a human right for every human being is a right it's just the way it is and so if you're not in an environment where people are not encouraging you are not allowing you to come up with ideas to pop up to be excited to be happy so new things come into your head what do you think this relationship is about what do you think these people want from you they want you to die that's what it is and that's what this toxin is so if you're in any environment that is not encouraging your spirit to be happy to feel good you're with any person any relationship and each time you're there it's always a fight it's always argument it's always quarrel that is not a good relationship for you that's a big message here because uh, i deal with this all the time family members friends i struggle to keep relationships not because i don't love people i i love people people who know me know i love people 
And that's why I came up with trainings like this where I teach people how to gain skills. For me, the more I can share with the world, the happier I am. That's, I think that's my big message to the world because I, I love to call all of us messengers of God. And so each of us have a gift. And my gift is to share my experiences and my knowledge and my skills with people. So I do that all the time. But I struggle to deal with people who do not want to see me be myself. This is where the toxin comes in. So if you happen to be around people who think you should change to suit them, then that's toxin. And you're going to watch yourself. You see yourself start to shrivel on the such a relationship. You start to be uncomfortable. You start to be unhappy. You start to be sad. You start to be angry. Now, all these emotions I've mentioned are toxins. And these are the toxins that affect your thinking that then starts to damage your cells. And it's from the damage of your cells that you physically then begin to lose it. And you hear of emotional breakdown, you hear of mental breakdown, you hear about all these things. This is where they come from. You're dealing with people, and sometimes it's so weird because these people will claim ignorance. They don't know what they're doing to you. But what I just explained to you is only you know when you are happy, only you know when you're sad, only you know when you're uh, angry, only you know when you're, uh, you, you start to lose it. Only you know that. So don't let your mother be the one who dictates when you're happy, your dad, your husband, your wife, your children, your sister, your brother, your best friend. None of these people know what is inside you and what creates that happiness that will now come out and become a healthier, happier, glowing you. So you need to be careful the people you hang around. That's why I struggle with friendship. Because, not because I don't love people. I mean, I get into friendship or relationships the happiest. I get excited. I want to do things to everyone. Let's all be happy. And then I start to notice, notice things. Then my spirit starts to tell me things. And then I start to go, oh, no, this is not working. So when you find out that this relationship is not encouraging your growth. Remember what we said about life. Life is about growth. And something that just came to me the other day is lots of us are walking dead. We are walking dead. We're dead, but we're still walking. You know why? Because you're not living nature's life. Nature says life. Nature says grow. Nature says come up with new things every day. That's, the, that's what nature enhances. Nature enhances continuity. That's why that seed you put on the ground grows. And each new season, it brings more fruits. And you watch for a farmer, if that tree is not growing, boom, they cut it down. Because that's what death is. Death is, there's nothing new coming from you. But life is about new things all the time. So if you are around people who are not encouraging you to be alive, to have new ideas, to wake up happy, to wake up excited, looking forward to the next best thing, Cut them out of your life. Situations, people, whatever it is, just quietly move away. That's what I do. I quietly move away. Quietly disconnect. Disconnect. You can stay far away and say, Hi. Oh, how are you today? And it ends there. Hope everything is going well with you. It ends there than to be in this relationship that is so toxic that you know is not getting you anywhere but you're still hanging in there why what for i mean i read something today uh going through my newsfeed in facebook and and the person says um 
when I please everybody, you said, since I'm like in the process of pleasing everybody, I lost myself. Then when I tried to find myself, I lost everybody. <laughs> and I thought, how simple is that? How simple is that? Because you cannot have both. You cannot please yourself and please everybody. You know why? Because the minute you start pleasing yourself, the minute you are happy, most people around you are not happy. And then when you make everybody else happy, who do you think is the one who's unhappy? Of course it's you because now you are not doing the things you would have loved to do because mom said that, dad said that, auntie said that, my best friend said that, um, my teacher said that, and so everybody's practically sharing you and breaking you into pieces. And there's never been a case of, I said that, I said, uh, everyone hold on, I've got myself to deal with as well. I, I watched um, I watched uh, this clip from um, Jada Jada Pinkett with Smith's wife, and the daughter was asking her, um, "Was it like being a mother and a wife?" And she explained nicely. She said, "I've got to find me because if I am not happy, what do you think is going to happen?" I am going to come across unhappy to you and I'm going to come across unhappy to your dad. And I'm going to make everybody unhappy because I am not happy. So it's in your interest that I am happy. Because if I'm happy, I'll do my best to see how I can come across happy to you guys too. So that's just the way it is. But you see, what happens is most people do not want to see a happy you. And I have experienced that. I've experienced lots of people you are, that want to hang around you, but they don't want you to be the one who's happy. They should be the ones happy. That's toxic. That is toxic. And that's what the big message is today. Stay away from toxic people. Detox your mind. So whenever you had these encounters with these people, they've created a lot of toxin in your thinking and in your thoughts, just quietly, Clean them out of your mind and clean yourself out of them. Pull yourself away. You're not hurting anyone. You're not hurting them. But if you keep staying there, you will hurt yourself. So when you move away, you're better off. You're clean. You're happier. They stay their way. Let them find their happiness. That's how simple it is. That's how it simple is. So, the whole idea about toxin is it just creates a lot of war within us. A lot of war. And we don't need that. Because it's that war that causes the mental stress and the emotional stress and the pain that we deal with. I mean, recently one of my cousins died. And it really touched me. Not because people haven't died around me. I mean, a lot of people I know have died but why he touched me was because he went through so much emotional problems so much emotional mental problems and his life was practically not there he practically did not live that really hurts to realize that things around you could break you and destroy you to the point that you're just walking dead that's not anything I wish for anyone out there so for your own sake come out of emotional stress situation come out of mental stress situation just pull yourself out of that scenario and rediscover who you are and try to focus on what is it what is it what who am i who am i and what am i here for you remember when we did that series on you know the purpose driven life find out who you are find out what you have to give focus on doing that and take away all these pressures and pains and stress and harassment and unhappiness that people try to throw at you. You don't need any of that. So the anger, the pain, the sadness, the unhappiness, these are the things that are the toxins that we deal with.
and it's these toxins that then affect our cells and this is what then makes our life an absolute mess this is what then destroys the bigger image that we are meant to be here for and like I said I experience this all the time and, and you find that sometimes I'm really focused on and you know coming out with the things that I need to do and I'm constantly here chatting with you and doing things and then things around me starts I know most times like when I chat with my kids and I say to them you know what this is just evil trying to get at me that's another way of looking at it which I know for sure I know for sure most times when you're struggling with issues it is evil if you are a Christian like me you understand this because why the bigger purpose why we're here is God's purpose we're here for God's mission we're here to deliver God's message which is to create a better world but you, you know the tussle that goes on between God and evil evil does not want those jobs done evil does not want us to be out here continuing God's creation and so what happens it passes through people because then that's why you then hear these voices you remember we talked about voices so the voices that these people are hearing people around you because most times when it attacks you which you hear people say is a spiritual attack I remember the Bible said you we struggle not against physical uh, uh, physical beings but spiritualities and powers what it does it, it invades people's spirits and so sometimes you'll be shocked at the person who's attacking you sometimes it's someone you've taken very close or very you're very very you opened up to you think you know this person you are very excited about this person and then this attack starts and it will come from someone sometimes very close to you and then you react and you get really wound up and you get so upset you're angry you want to you want to do things and i mean you you hear of case of people committing suicide and people becoming depressed and because sometimes the attack is so severe it's like it's too close to home sometimes you would have thought but this was like me so if this person can do this to me is like I am doing this to myself so that's how it works so this attack comes at you with the intention to stop you from carrying on with the bigger message that you're trying to share with the world or the bigger thing you were trying to do and watch out if you if you really want to understand this watch out when these attacks come It's usually when you're on a major part usually when you're working on something really big usually when you have a clearer vision then boom you know why because it doesn't want you to carry it out it doesn't want you to make it happen and so for Christians this is when you now realize that yes this is a spiritual attack and then what do you do you pray and pray and pray for God to come and take over the situation because what I say most times when I speak to my God I say it is not about me this work is not about me this message I'm trying to share is not me it's the work that you want me to do the message that you want me to share so why are you letting this happen take over this wall and so yes you have your downtime I think I'll, I like to call it downtime there will be down times when these things get so much but it's about watching to see how you react to it watching to see how you overpower it i mean i've got i've got a page now on facebook that i call um god's mission i remember because I, I haven't really put a lot there but i'm going to put a lot there um messengers of god and that's who we are we're messengers of god and it's like if your mission is to do a certain thing and evil comes and says you cannot do it it's not down to you you're a messenger 
the message is, not, is just being passed through you so the bigger war is for the person who gave you the message the, the spiritual being that gave you that big message and that's where god comes in so if you hand it over to god and say listen this is beyond me now i don't know how to deal with this god will intervene and one of one of the um i think the the, the page what i put there one of these really amazing quotes is we go through things you know like gold when god when when we go we, before gold becomes what it is it goes through fire and then it gets cleansed and it becomes gold so every time we are encountering all these attacks and all these things that are beyond our understanding we need to be strong enough to understand that we are being tested equally and we're being put through this so we can be stronger we can be stronger i'll give you an example this, this happened to my daughter and um, when she started working first of all i started from primary school secondary school and i remember her secondary school it was just opposite the house and it was so easy oh, she wakes up she goes to school life is sweet and so secondary school she had to take a bus to go to school and then she goes mom this school is too far can i just go to the other school that's not again very next not too far from the house and i said no babes as you grow up you're going to meet situations where you're going to have to travel so the sooner you start traveling now the better and so she kept to it and she did it and finished and so eventually now she got a job where she used to wake up 6 a.m to get to work for seven o'clock and then that means traveling and she just strengthened herself and she did it so now she got another job that she has to actually travel out of town and so i said to her how are you feeling about this new job and she said well mom you know i've gone through the other job so now see this is a lot easier i said see that's life for you we go through these stages to prepare us for bigger things to come so most times when you're having to deal with difficult situations it's not for you to just sit down there and cry and allow the detoxing to break you down and destroy you and put it into pieces because sometimes i see some people that i know that are really strong people and then you see things have just changed i know because i go through things but just remind yourself that that is just a downtime and you're going to come out of this you're going to come out of this because it's all about emotions that's why i said emotions make a big part of our life you just be in a state of mind where suddenly you don't feel like waking up today you don't feel like opening that door that's emotions at war that's your ego fighting you you need to wake up like les brown says listen to some personal development listen to some motivational talking and you will wake up and you will be inspired read your bible and you will be inspired i mean there's a part ecclesiastic i can't remember the exact chapter and it says vanity upon vanity that's what we that's what this whole life is about vanity upon vanity so today you feel like whoever this person is has given you all this grief obviously being infused with evil spirit is giving you all this grief and you want to go and kill yourself for them no you don't do that you prove to them that listen the power in me is stronger than that thing that's in you and so i'm not going to let go i'm not going to give you the pleasure of watching me break to pieces so yes they've been they've been uh, um the, the 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 evil in them is making them do the things they're doing and so all you do is cut them away and when they're not seeing you anymore they move on to somebody else so that's where we are and I've hope, I hope I've really been able to share something with you. I hope I've been able to open your thinking. I hope I've been able to support you emotionally. And um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. So please remember, before we go anywhere, to subscribe, to share this video with your friends. Anyone
someone you know that's struggling with things like this and remember to like it so thank you so much and god continue to bless you